All right, what's good, people? Once again, so last review I have to do for E3 as far as the conferences go, EA's conference. Maybe I'm getting tired of seeing my face by now, or not. Um, but yeah, let's get to this um, review of EA's conference, and it was a very good conference. They were neck and neck with uh, Ubisoft. I would say Ubisoft still had the better publisher conference because that's only because they, you know, really showed some really crazy games. EA's, you know, just about all their games are really good too, and looking forward to them. Um, but you know, it, U Ubisoft just like you know edged them off a little bit. Um, and by the way, today, hopefully today, I can. I'm, I'm hoping, praying that I'll be able to get Last of Us early today from one of my sources. And I still have some other news articles to come to talk about, but I'll probably put some gameplay behind them. Um, apart from the one I have uploaded, I have uh, another video of me talking about a certain subject. I'm sure you have heard of it so far. It came out like early this morning or late last night. Um, so yeah. But let's get into the EA uh, conference. First of all, plan, they showed Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare, which is kind of like, you know, they made it somewhat of a spoof of, you know, Battlefield and, you know, the the, sh the modern day shooters like Call of Duty and Battlefield. But the game looked very good. I actually never played any of the Plants vs. Zombies, but I always thought they looked like very uh, good games. Um, but, you know... They're very. I still think they're a very good game. I'd actually play. I would actually play Garden Warfare, Titanfall. We've seen uh, you know the footage of Titanfall at the Xbox One um, conference, and I thought it was an Xbox exclusive, like only. No, it will actually be on PC, and that's a game I would probably play um, on PC. You know, no point of getting an Xbox One. I feel like if you're going to get an Xbox One for that game, you might as well get a PC and skip out on all the BS that Microsoft is putting you through and get a better, better experience on the PC. Um, Star Wars Battlefront, the game everybody's been waiting for forever. Ever. Um, so we can't wait to see gameplay of that. Um, because they only show a little cinematic, what, 20 second cinematic trailer. People have been waiting and, and, you know, demanding this game forever. It's finally coming. Need for Speed Rivals, the next Need for Speed game. Uh, they actually showed gameplay. It looks very good. Jack Dragon Age Inquisition is the next Dragon Age game. Then they got into the EA Sports, NBA Live 14. I gotta say that, that 2K Bounce Tech, I mean, 2K, um, NBA Live Bounce Tech was very impressive because that's one thing I felt like when it comes to physics you know was very limited in sports game like the you know the ball had a magnetic strip you know you had a magnetic strip on your hand the ball was just attached to it you know that's one of the limit limit uh, physic um, you know level of fidelity that, that I know sports games have um, so I think that that's one thing that they've improved that they're improving you know they showed Madden also Drake came out talk about how much he loved FIFA um, UFC. Um, then they got into Battlefield 4, which I can't wait for, and Mirror's Edge 2. I've actually, I actually think I have Mirror's Edge, but I haven't played it yet. Still haven't played the first Mirror's Edge, but um, Mirror's Edge 2. So they overall, overall, it was very straightforward conference. Very good games. Um, standout ones for me that I'm definitely interested in are definitely Titanfall. Um, of course, Star Wars Battlefront. Um, Battlefield 4, you know, I would definitely give Mirror's Edge, uh, I would definitely buy Mirror's Edge 2 depending on when it comes out. Um, I, I played a little bit of Dragon Age, but I, not a game I'm like exactly hyped for. Um, that, I would, like I said, I would definitely play that Plants vs. Zombies, Need for Speed, you know, it's a good racing game, but I'm sorry, as I said before, the crew from Ubisoft, that racing game rendered every other racing game irrelevant to me. So, yeah, about that. Y'all should just like move over and let Ubisoft handle all the racing games with the crew. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, that's it. It was very straightforward, you know, uh, solid conference. Very good conference by the worst gaming company in America, you know. Um, but that's, I've, I've talked about that before. We're not going to get into that because they're definitely not. Um, because as far as I know, e EA has never dumped pollution into our ocean. Um, but it's a very good conference. I mean, there's not much to say about it. Very good conference, solid, good games. Um, next gen is looking good. 
It's looking good. We we have reasons to be excited for the next generation of consoles. Um, and uh, yeah, look out for my next video, which should be uh, if I upload this right now. I'll probably ne upload the next one around twelve one o'clock. Definitely watch it. You need to watch that. But uh, oh yeah, and make sure you watch if you haven't. You need to watch the Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 extended multiplayer gameplay to see what happens at the end. Crazy. Um, and just see that everything you can do is wild. Um, but yeah. I have a few unboxings coming in the neck, in, in this, at the end of this month. A few unboxings, yeah. So look out for that. You'll, you'll see what it is. It's gonna be big though. Yeah. I'm out of here. Peace.